Hey guys, welcome to the Upside Down Robot. I'm Tad. I'm John. If you guys are new to our channel, click on the Upside Down Robot. Or the red subscribe button. And subscribe to our channel. Also be sure to click the notification bell so you don't miss any of the fun. So John, what are we doing today? We have something we have never done on the channel before. We have Ravel Tales. Ravel Tales. Ooh, Ooh la la. So we want to thank Christine. Awesome. Thank you, Christine. For gifting these to us. She obviously saw that we needed these in our lives. And here it is. We are so happy to have this. It's so cool. It's a two-pack. It's a two-pack. And guess what? There are 12 fun surprises in each one. There are. So that's like 24 fun surprises. Yeah. And it's so perfect because there's two in here and there's two of us. But I get to open both of them. Um, no. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. So taking a closer look at the box, just like John said, there are 12 fun surprises in each ball. We get to unwind, find um, the surprises, and then create the little surprises and what they, what, you know, we get to create. Yeah, this is so cool. So here's all the little steps on this side. Yeah. Here's a snapshot of what might be inside. Ooh. And then right here is all our little fun characters that we'll be able to tell you more about once we open this up and get inside. So are you ready? Totally ready. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. All right, so here are the two Ravel Tails out of the packaging. Ravel Tails. Yeah, I call them fur balls. <laughs> they look like big fur balls. We have our checklist. We actually know who all of our characters are. Here it is. Yes. You want me to go first? I want you to go first. Okay, which one do you want me to open? Um, any, mini, money, mo. Do that one. Okay, here we go. So yeah. apparently you, uh... oh, you start here. This yeah. is the bed filler. Here's our little needle. I love that. This is plastic, by the way, guys. For those that are not familiar with this line, this is not sharp. No. But it is like if you do yarn and if you do knitting or something, knitting needles come looking like this when you sew your pieces together. And oh my goodness, I love the ombre. Yeah, this is really cool. So you just keep unraveling. Is it, what do you call this an ombre? This is just like, um... Uh, maybe color change? I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to keep going. Ooh. This comes out. Okay, I was trying to do too much. you got to unravel it. I'm a knitter, by the way. I ain't, I ain't never seen him knit none. Doesn't mean I don't knit. This is exciting. <gasps> oh, okay, so we got our little baby out. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, who'd you get? Who'd you get? It looks like a cat. Oh, it's I... got pink splatters. Pink splatters? That is Nopsy. Nopsy, it is a little cat. It is a little cat. It's a cute little kitty. It's so cute. I love it. Look at this little embroidered uh, yarn ball right here. I love that. A little fuzzy tail. I love the paint splatters. These are really nice. This is great. It's so soft. If Nopsy were smaller, I would put him in my dish. Yeah, she would take up the whole dish. She would basically take up the dish and a half. <laughs> the whole dish. So, I'll okay. show, one day I'll show you my dish. Yeah, but Friday. We're going to remember to do it Friday. So if you're looking for the dish... Well, there you go. Keep watching all the videos until then, but definitely come back Friday. Come back Friday. Yeah. Okay, so we get this little U thing that I see in our instructions we use to make pom-poms. Yes. So that's really cute. That's a wrapper. You wrap it around. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And we have some stickers. It has stickers, too? Yep. <gasps> and we get some court corresponding fabric. This is the same fabric that our doll is made out of. Yes, our cat, which I is love it. Oh, so cool. We're going to have to sew something together with that. Yes, we are. Then we get a little hook. This is what we're going to use to make one of our yarn balls. We also get these other little doodads. Let's see. I knew you were going to say the word doodad. <laughs> little doodads. We have a, a little donut button. Oh, come on now. This was definitely meant for me. That was definitely meant for you. So this is to make a bracelet. <gasps> Oh. They're all labeled, too. This one is to make a bracelet. This is a little... Oh, it's a little sunshine. In my favorite color. This one is a little flower, also for the bracelet. Flower power bracelet. And this is for a necklace. Oh, it's the name. This is our collar for our pet, because it's her name oh, on a yarn ball. I love it. I love that. This, this is so yummy. This is so cool. And we have one more of these things to make another yarn ball, because we get two little yarn balls. Okay. I love this. I love it. So we're going to move this aside. Okay. Open yours. Yes. And we're going to come back to craft. This okay. is universal crafting sign. Okay, here you go. Thank you. So let's see who we got in ball number two. Okay. Okay. So Ooh. excited. <laughs> Fun ball in this rabble ball of yarn. So that looks the same color, but this is definitely a different color. Yeah, this is like what you call an orange. 
Oh, is that orange? This is like an oranges orange. <gasps> I know who you got. Who'd I get? Who'd I get? You got Pupsy. Oh, Papadoo. That was close. Pupsy. Papadoo. Papadoo. Oh my God. It's so Pup Papadoo to you too. Papadoo. This is so perfect because we, most of you guys know, we have a cat and dogs. So, uh, oh, I love its pattern. Oh, it's so cool. So last time we got a star and this time we got a heart. Oh, that's really cool. I love it's a different design. Yeah, it's, it's a different shape. And when you sew it together, it goes together like this. Well, let's see what the charms are. What's yeah, the charms? A star. Star. A carrot. Ooh, I love that. Yeah. Purple carrot. A purple carrot. Have you ever had a purple carrot? I've not. Ooh, this fish is really cute. A I love fish. I love fish. And then the uh, necklace part is the same. It just has um, our little puppadoo on it. Puppadoo. Okay. Let's make something. All right, we got everything sorted into nice little piles. Yes, we have our piles. It took uh, a couple of good minutes. Yeah, it's really key on how you unravel it. If you unravel it nice and neat and, you know, maybe re-roll re it as you undo it. Yes. You're going to be better off. Don't do like what I did where I just was like, okay, 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 next. And then next thing you have a big pile of... Because yeah. mine, mine was tangled. <laughs> John's was not tangled as much. So, but we're going to go ahead and start building stuff. We're going to build our little pet bed. Yes, the pet bed. So we'll start with our little star. Are you going to do the same time? Are we crafting together? We're going to do a little crafty crafty. Okay. So you got to get your, your little needle. My little needle. needle. Oh, my needle is still on the the stuffing yarn. And you take your, your yarn that says bed yarn. Bed yarn? Yep. It that should not have a charm. That, that says bracelet. <laughs> this one says bed yarn. Yep. Pull your little sticker off. Okay. Pull my sticker off. Okay. And then you. Yeah, give we it don't a little... really need to do that because you do it. Look, look, go like this. I know what your fanciness, but not all of us. I'm just telling you how knitters do it because I'm a knitter, even though he doesn't think I'm a knitter. Because I never knit. Knit. Knitted. Never seen Knit. Knitted. Yeah. I don't know. But that's how you do it. Really simple. It's already got pre holes in it, so you just line it up. It's a pre hold. Pre hold. And then you just start doing it. Make sure you leave a little bit on the end of this side so you can tie it. So here it is sewn together. Oh, it's so cute. I'm still sewing mine. It's still sewing is, but I got um, finished faster. So you, I know, I'm just better. <laughs> I'm very Jerry. No, I'm not. Um, so what you do is you stuff it up with the, the big yarn like this. So now that you have the big yarn in there, we're going to form it. But first, before we form it, we're going to close it up and then tie a little bow. And voila, we have our little animal pillow. Then you put a little papadou on his own little bed. Boom, and they match. It's so cute. Isn't it cute? So here is my little star. It's so cute. You did a really nice job, too. I love it. I need to, well, you need to get some yarn in that last little pokey hole it's hard to work it in there i was able to work it in these because like it was open <laughs> right well now that's closed you can order you can get it in there right that's good enough for now oh my god it's so cute i love it i wish they were small enough to go in my dish they're not going in your dish okay <laughs> um for the pet collar you need 12 inches so you need three strands of 12 inches right but you don't cut it till the end you don't cut it to the very end yep. yep so you measure out once and then you take the end, you loop it all the way back down to the 12 inch line on, at the beginning, right? And then you loop it up one more time without cutting it. And you go down to another 12 inches and that's where you cut it. So after you have it, you know, your strands cut or whatever, then you do a little, little knot up top like mm -hmm. so, and you can hook that on something. You can tape it to the table. Right. Or you can, you know, do what whatnot. But then you just braid. You braid your three strands together. Right. Until you get to the very end. Right. And now you have your pet collar. Oh. All right. Oh, I love it. It's like a pet necklace. <laughs> it's a peckless. It's a bit long. It's, it's a, a bit long for a collar, but you can always adjust it. You can all, Yeah, you can always, like, adjust it. Yep. So, like, look how cute that is. I love it. Yeah, that's really, really cool. And if you wanted to wear it for yourself, you could. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's really great. <laughs> that is so cute. It is really cool. And we made it. Wait. I know, that's the best part. I'm so proud of us. Yes. 
We made it. We made the pillow. We made the bed. The necklace. Yep. We have a pom pom to go. We're gonna make a pom pom. And we have bracelets. Bracelets. We have lots of bracelets. We have lots of bracelets. Um. So let's do it. Okay. Okay. We have our, our extra string cut that we're going to use to tie it when we're done. Okay. We have our charm off, so we're going to use that to tie onto the string at the very end. Yes. And you just take your little U. Okay. You get a good little starting point. Yes. And then you wrap it. So you hold, and then you just wrap. And it says you wrap about 25 times. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, so on and so on. So we have our our pom-pom wrapped. We used all of it. Because <laughs> why not? A pom-pom, a really, really puffy pom-pom uses a lot of yarn. So even though they say 25 times, if you use more yarn, it's the puffier and more pom pom -y you're going to get. Yeah. And then before you tie it though, you want to make sure you put your, well, I guess the clip can go on after, but I'm going to put my clip on now. Okay. That's a good idea. So it's easier to manage. Right. Mischief managed. So that's over there. And you got to tie this really, really tight. Mm-hmm. You take your scissors, mm -hmm. and you cut up the side right here. You just kind of slip it right there. Mm -hmm. And then you pull it off, and then you fluff. I have some uneven strands. Ew. <laughs> yeah. Look, I am a living for this. This is so cool. It's my first pom-pom ever. It's your first pom-pom ever? Yes. The tighter you get the middle string, the better. There's my yarn ball. <laughs> it started out really cute, and then it looks like more like an amiibo. <laughs> well, you know, it's it's a nice attempt. I attempted. I love it. What I wish we would have done though is I wish you would have given me half of your string. Oh. And they kind of mix them. Well, we have um, another pom pom. We do. We're gonna be making that. All right, guys. Here are the two ravel tails that we got today. Cute and cuter. They're so cute. Oh, mg. I know. I loved making these little accessories, especially the pillows. Pillow was my favorite, number one. Yeah, the pillow was awesome. I have to say number two was the necklace. Oh, uh, for me, number two was the pom-pom. The pom-pom drove me crazy, guys. I won't lie to you. <laughs> Although I had fun doing it, it just didn't work right. <laughs> yeah. This whole project was so much fun. We still have bracelets to make. We've got another pom-pom yeah. that we can make or two. Um, There's so much to do. It's an unboxing. It's a toy. It's a project. It's, it's projects for your toy. This is so cute. I love these little guys. They're so soft. They are so soft and they're so cute. Love the pattern, the matchy pattern, and all the accessories. You really, you really can do a lot with this. And the string, they give you so much yarn. I can't believe we didn't have this before. I can't either. Christine knew what we needed. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you again, Christine. This yep. was a great. We had so much fun doing this. We had a blast. All right, guys, that was it for this video. If you guys liked opening up and creating with this Rebel Tales craft project and toy, plushy if I do say, give us a big thumbs up below. And again, if you're not a subscriber, click on the upside down robot or the red subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. Also, be sure to check us out on Instagram and TikTok. TikTok. Yes, we will be making our other pom poms and our bracelets on TikTok, so definitely oh. check us out there. That'll be so much fun. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Links to both those accounts are in the description box as always. And don't forget to click on the notification bell to get notifications of upcoming videos we post Monday through Friday. So uh, thanks, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.